I've had many five figure months when I was full time freelance copywriting. And if hitting that 10K a month mark as a freelance copywriter is something you want to achieve, stick around because I'm going to teach you the exact steps I took to achieve that and exactly how you can replicate it. And before we jump into the strategies of growing your brand and getting clients, number one is actually getting your housekeeping in order. What I mean by that is make sure you have an invoice software ready, PayPal, Square, Stripe, all these are good. You also want to make sure you have a good contract in place. And to start off, you can honestly just get one off Google, fill it out, customize it. But eventually you should reinvest and spend the money to get a lawyer to draft one for you. It can be maybe a few hundred dollars and it can really save you a lot of headaches in the future. And then you need to have an onboarding process in place. Document this and map out everything from when a lead reaches out to you all the way to them being a paying client and you delivering material. And that also includes things like having scripts for cold outreach or discovery call, the questions you'll ask them, being ready for questions from them and objections. And having all this documented and having these things in place essentially just gives you the foundation to actually start doing outreach building your brand and taking on paying clients. Because without these things in order, you could have a business reach out to you, but you're not really prepared or ready to even handle them and onboard them into your business. But once you have this in place, now we're gonna move on to something that I've recommended many, many times, and you have to master this as a copywriter, and that is cold outreach. Now, whether you wanna do cold calling, cold emailing, or cold DMing, this really is the secret to scaling up your writing actually really fast. I've gotten a lot of high paying clients on big projects, monthly retainers, all because of cold email in particular. But again, you can master any kind of platform you want or service. And there's a lot of good platforms out there I recommend like Hunter and Apollo that really allow you to automate this process and make it easier. And now some of the things when it comes to cold emailing and cold outreach, one is having a platform. I mentioned Apollo and Hunter. This allows you to find the decision makers and companies because when you're doing outreach as a copywriter, you need to speak to marketing directors, content marketing managers, marketing managers. If it's a smaller company, maybe even the founder, if they're involved in the marketing on a daily basis. And they wanna message these people directly because they actually handle hiring and marketing. If you reach out to customer support or just use a random contact form, it's probably not gonna to go to the right person and you won't get a response or what you're looking for. If you wanna learn more about these strategies in depth, you can join the Copy Pro Academy in the description. And for 20 bucks a month, you get access to all my courses, the free Discord community, and also coaching and feedback from myself to learn these things and master them in depth. Once you have these things in place though, you also have to get really good at following up because often when you do that first cold email, cold DM, you might not get a response. That's actually very normal. It's actually found in sales that it takes about five follow-ups before you actually get an answer and book a meeting. So don't take no response as a no. Sometimes you just have to follow up because these people are usually very busy, especially if they're in a VP or director position. And just continually get better. Look at your open rates, your meeting rates, your response rates. Keep refining your follow-up practices, your script writing and all these different things. And then you'll end up boosting your meeting rates. So maybe if you send out 100 emails, and you get one meeting, you can improve it to get two or three. But when you think about actually how much money and revenue that translates into, it's actually really big over the long term. And now cold outreach is gonna get you probably immediate meetings and results and work. But even though you're doing this, you wanna make sure secondly, you're building your personal brand. I cannot recommend this enough. I recommend it to all my students in the Discord and in the Academy all the time. You need to be building up a brand. So make sure you have a website. Use WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, whatever you want. Just get something live that has an about page, a service page, contact information so people can actually book a meeting with you and explain exactly what you do and how that's gonna help your clients and your business. Now also when you have a website, it just makes you look more professional. I had so many clients that actually told me they chose me versus other writers because of my website and my brand. It just looks really good on you and really professional. But if you optimize it for search engines and you also do content marketing, you'll get clients and opportunities just coming to you. After a certain point when I was full-time freelancing, I didn't have to do any cold outreach, any emailing, because literally through content, blogging, and SEO, I was getting nonstop people booking meetings and asking me for my services. And you can do content marketing through blogging, which I recommend. You can start on medium.com or LinkedIn for free. You can also do videos and YouTube like this, audio content like a podcast, and social media content and email marketing. I recommend just picking one to start off with, get a hang of researching keywords, creating content, repurposing it, promoting it, and building that brand, and then you can diversify later. Okay, now related to that is something called local SEO or search engine optimization. Now, depending where you're located, often you can actually use local SEO to target keywords like Toronto copywriter, Manhattan copywriter, Ohio copywriter. Essentially, it's the location you're in plus the service. So in this case, it would be your location plus copywriter, copywriting services. If you're doing other things like SEO, web design, you can also mix those in. But you essentially have dedicated pages on your website that's optimized for these keywords. And you can use something like Google's Keyword Planner, which is 100% free, or SEMrush, Ahrefs, they're paid tools, but they'll give you a lot of keyword insights and data. And this is a big practice and it's something you'll have to study and really understand, but essentially you're optimizing your website as content for these terms 
you end up ranking for them on Google. And if you think about it, if somebody's looking up New York copywriter, they're probably a business in New York, right? That location where you are, and they're looking for a copywriter. So typically these have lower competition, they're easier to rank for, but also the conversion rate's really high because it has buying intent. Somebody's looking for a service provider in that area, you pop up and then they're gonna reach out. This was one way that I drove a lot of income and revenue when I was full-time copywriting, but I also did it for hundreds of businesses. I did it with my friends and different partnerships we had. And honestly, if you're a local service provider of any kind, I think it'd be out of your mind not to do local SEO. So if you're a copywriter, definitely research that and start practicing it right away. So at this point, you're building up your brand, you're doing outreach, maybe you're doing local SEO as well. Now you also, as you start scaling this, you need to learn how to automate, delegate, and outsource because at some point, you're probably gonna have too much work than you can handle on your own. It's actually a good problem. Now you can handle it all on your own if you really want to and you just wanna have that kind of lifestyle business, but to work smarter and not harder, I do recommend you do a few different things. So one, use AI, whether it's ChatGPT, Jasper, use this to come up with brief outlines to speed up your workflow, write content and copy maybe first drafts and headlines and ideas, and just use it to speed up the process. We're trying to reduce our workload, uh, have less stress, and just work faster. Now, obviously you can't just publish right away what it gives you. Again, just use it to save time and come up with ideas and outlines. And then also you do need to learn to outsource eventually. You can use websites like Reddit and the different writing and hiring subreddits. There's actually writing websites dedicated to hiring freelancers. And essentially just get some good ghost writers in your network. So when you do have that overflow work, you can hand it off to them and they're gonna save you a ton of time while still delivering something good for your client. And obviously, as you start doing this on a regular basis, build it into your rates and your packages because it does become a pretty big business expense. But again, with all that saved time, now you can do more content, you can do more outreach, you can handle your client relationships and have more meetings and reportings with them. And you can also consider doing white labeling. There is some copywriting, white labeling solutions and providers out there, but more so for marketing. So think web design, social media, content, things like that. There's actually businesses that you can connect with that'll do these services for your client, but it's all branded under your name. So again, they get what they want, they grow, they get the deliverable, but you save a ton of time. You can even offer more services to the client. So maybe you're doing copywriting primarily, but now you can mix in SEO, social media marketing, and this other service provider is gonna handle it. And again, you'll have to build this into your rates, into your packages, because it is an expense. Now to sum all that up, one, get your housekeeping in order, make sure you have an invoicing software, contracts, an onboarding process, and those business fundamentals are in place. So when a client does come to you, you can actually handle it and start working with them. Then start learning cold outreach, whether it's calling, DMs, or email, use software, use scripts, keep getting better at it, improve your process, follow up, and this is gonna get you some meetings and clients really fast if you do it right. And when you're doing this, you wanna build your personal brand. Get a website up with whatever platform you want, start putting out content, be active on social media, network physically if you want, and build that brand so opportunities and leads just come to you organically. And then also I recommend doing local SEO. This is actually one of the easier places to start. Again, because even with a fresh website, these are low competition keywords that have a high conversion rate. And then on top of this, make sure you're learning to delegate, automate, and just find ways to save time throughout this entire process, especially as you get to that 10K a month range, you're probably gonna have a lot of work on your hands, and it could be a good business move just to save some time and outsource it. If you wanna learn more about copywriting, you can look at the Copy Pro Academy in the description. For 20 bucks a month, you get access to coaching and feedback from me, our private community, and all of my courses and future releases. And let me know down in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video. Happy copywriting, and I'll see you very soon.